Everybody, Michael here from GetFitOver40.com, and I'm going to have to say a couple years ago, I haven't actually looked at the timeline, but it's probably been a couple years, I made a video, uh, it was about ice packs, cool sculpting, and the question was, can you use ice packs or like ice cubes or these kind of like ice pack type things to use similarly to cool sculpting? So in other words, um, you know, that really expensive procedure, if you look it up, cool sculpting, it's where they put really cold pads on you, uh, probably a little colder than this, but they keep it at a certain temperature that doesn't freeze the skin, uh, but freezes the fat underneath. And when you freeze the fat, it kills the fat cells, essentially um, reducing the amount of fat in that area that you're cool sculpting. It's a pretty cool process. It does work. It doesn't like eliminate all the fat if you really, you know, got a, a big chunky area. It will reduce a portion of it, so you would have to go back multiple times. Uh, you know, like for for some situations when you just have a little bit of fat in a, in an area that's really stubborn, it makes sense. You could probably reduce it twenty to thirty percent. That might be enough. You know, using a procedure. So the question uh, that I presented was, how good are these like ice packs or these pads, these cool pads? And I got a lot of responses back from people. You know, some people said it worked really well. Um, some people, you know, were questionable about it. I never really followed it up myself. I was planning on giving it a try myself, um, but I was, it was kind of winter time and I was putting like ice cubes and things on my face and different areas. I was trying it on my face because for me, a troubling area is like right under my jawline. I tend to hold fat in my face more than other parts of my body. Uh, even when I get really lean, I still have a, a fair amount of fat on my face. Like it does come off for sure, and I get leaner in my face, but I don't get that that really drawn look, like that real you know sort of skeleton like look in my face with a really crisp jawline. It just doesn't happen unless I was to get really really lean. So um, and it's probably because I hold a fair bit of fat, especially you know in my face in the jawline. I was I I would say I held a little more under here. It's sort of gone away a little bit, but now I'm getting that little bit of tuft here because the skin sags a bit as you get older and you get these little jowls right here. So I'd really like to try to um, reduce the amount of fat along the jawline and a little underneath here. So I bought this kit here. I'm gonna give this a try. And the goal here is to try and do this most nights, try and do it every night if possible for a month, because that's what, you know, kind of the, uh, the general, uh, you know, consensus is. You kind of have to do it for months. Cool sculpting, when you do it, it's more like a one shot, boom, it's good. You might have to go back, you know, a couple weeks later or a month later and get it done again. With this, you got to kind of hit it a little bit more often because it's it's going to be really cold, but then this will warm up quicker. So you're not hitting the fat cells as, you know, as intensely as cool sculpting would. So it's going to take longer. It's going to take a lot more sessions, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hit it Every day, as long as my face doesn't get, you know, really tender or, you know, too frozen-y kind of feeling. I'm not sure what to expect because I haven't even tried it once. Um, but I've got this jaw, it's called a jaw pack. And you can use it, um, it's from, let's see, Foamy. I'll just pull it up here, see if you can see that. So this is what it is. I'll put a link in the description. I bought mine off of Amazon. Uh, it's microwavable if you want to use heat. In my case, I want to use uh, cool, I want to cool it down. I want it to freeze it. I have two of them, so I might even, you know, if it, if it warms up rather quickly and I don't find it's cold enough for long enough, then I'm gonna switch it to a second pack if I need to. Uh, I might not need to do that, I don't know yet. I'll kind of fill you in as I go. You have like a softer side here that might be not quite as cold, and then you have sort of the other side here where the coolness will come through more. So I'm gonna play around with that as well. If this is like, crazy cold, I might use the other side, but the goal is to try and get my face as cold as possible for as long as possible without it, you know, without it really, you know, freezing the skin or being uncomfortable to the point where I'm getting like, you know, some sort of frostbite or something like that. So you do have to be careful when you're applying something really cold to your skin not to get frostbite. So do this at your own risk. Uh, I'm not uh, giving you any medical advice here. This is just a personal test I'm trying for myself and I'll let you know how it goes for me. Your skin might respond differently to you know how my skin responds to coldness and whatnot. So you're gonna have to figure this kind of out for yourself. 
try a few different things. Some, if you have something like this, you might need to put a cloth in between your skin. Some people um, putting ice packs on their skin have to put like a cloth in there. But the colder you can get it for, you know, as long of a period of time, the more benefit you're going to get from it. So uh, here's the goal again, to try to do this consistently for a month, uh, pretty much every night if I can get away with it. So 30 times roughly. And then it will take approximately a month to see the, you know, the full results. At least that's kind of how cool sculpting works as well. In other words, um, once you've had your cool sculpting procedure, it's going to take about a month for those fat cells to kind of die. Well, they die pretty much right away, but then your body has to expel the dead cells. So it's got to like flush them out and it takes a little bit of time for your body to, I guess, dissolve the, the broken down fat cells and excrete it from the body. That takes about a month over time. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, you know, I really want to try and do this for you guys. Sometimes I don't always, you know, these I try to have these experiments or things that I want to try. It just doesn't work out. I really want to try and do this one for you guys and get you a result that I can, you know, either say either works well, it doesn't work, or maybe it works a little bit. Um, now, a little disclaimer here. I am going to be in a bit of a calorie deficit. I'm doing a bit of a body recomp. I'm trying to just like, uh, I, it's not that I'm put on a lot of weight or anything, but after my last show, I've kind of gone up a few pounds and I just want to pull a little bit of body fat off. I'm probably sitting around 10%, maybe 11% tops. And I want to get down to more like the 8% body fat range is 7 to 8%. I like to be there year round. I just feel a little better. Like I said, I hold fat on my face. So I like to get a little bit of the fat off my face. So you will probably see my face re, re, have a bit of a recomp in my face, but I can tell you for sure, unless I get really lean, I still hold fat on my face, so we'll still be able to see a result, especially if I can get rid of the sort of, I don't know if you can see it, but I get that little jowl area here that wasn't there, so my jawline isn't perfectly straight. You'll notice as people get older, they get a little dip here, a little fat deposit there, some people more than others. It's definitely at 52, it's starting to happen to me little more than uh, I'd like and you know underneath the chin I'd like to see it get a little bit more uh, you know a little bit more fat off of there just crisping up the jawline a little more why not right having that sort of you know, the chiseled look is always a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so that's what's going to happen wish me luck and uh, you know I might uh, make a follow-up video in two weeks or so I might just wait till the end of the month and let you know how that goes and then for sure, again, it's going to take two months. So from the time, if you watch this video, look at the date. And if it's been two months, hopefully I've got an update video that shows you the final before and after. Let's just kind of get in here. See if I can kind of pour. I'll do a side thing here. So I've got something to show you guys. Right. All right. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.